What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. You're in the designer life with Ika! May nakita akong comment na gusto niya makita yung portfolio ko as a multimedia designer. Before I react to or show my portfolio, my recent portfolio, I'm gonna link down below the video regarding my reaction to my first ever portfolio as a multimedia arts graduate sa Benil. So the link is down below. If you wanna watch and see that, you can check it out. But right now, my recent portfolio is a website kasi mostly it's about graphic design social media content creation and video. Pero guys, bibigyan ko na kayo ng disclaimer kasi yung work ko maraming internal projects. So ibig sabihin hindi siya nakapost on social media and there's a non-disclosure agreement. I wow, may mga NDA yung mga yan. Doon lang talaga siya sa for the company internal use. As much as I want to really put more on my portfolio, wala rin akong time especially with my uh, motion graphics and a little bit of the typography animation side because time consuming and tama ako eh. I only have one motion graphics project uploaded here but I hope I could have the time may time ba? my will ako na gumawa para sa portfolio ko or at least have this showreel kasi ako wala akong showreel and so if you want to visit the website itself it's www.ikalansang.com so nilagay ko dito para siyang feed yung look niya, may follow button. Kasi at this time when I was creating this, I was really more on the social media um, content creation. Ginawa ko to nung peak ng pandemic where a lot of people are into digital marketing. And so that's why I ventured into this type, especially on social media. Ayan na, medyo naging yung formal na ako. Parang work yung pinag-uusapan. Hala! So, ayan, may mga pictures ako dito. Just to show a personal side of me, um, click follow. It will get linked to my TikTok account. Before, it was my Instagram account. Pero yung Instagram ko kasi medyo personal na yung content. But my TikTok, I edit some videos there and talk about design. So, that's where I link my, um, my account. First client is Mr. Moose. I do a lot of things, but mostly on graphic design. Ito yung works na nagawa ko posted online and on their website. So if you click this, it will get redirected to like Facebook. Ito naman pag Instagram, if you click this, it will get redirected to the Instagram account. Ay, hindi siya nag new window. Kailangan ko i-edit yun. These are some works that I've created for them. And also the website, if you click this, it will get redirected to um, mrmooseph.com. Ayan. Ginamit ko lang is... WordPress and then yan ginawa ko to pati yung elements na nandito yung pictures ako din yung kumuha as you can see there's a short description of what I do in the company and the roles I take as a designer or as an artist so photographer web developer graphic designer and social media manager ayun niya magplay kasi yata unlisted yung video i'm not sure if ayun niya sa share screen. And uh, this is my motion graphics video. Very proud ako dito kasi honestly, I took this project without knowing how to really create what the client wants. I needed to look up online on how to create this type of video. Pero nagawa naman and I'm really proud of it. So one thing about not being comfortable with one project, you can gauge, you know what your strengths are, you know how fast you're going to learn something new. Tingnan nyo if kaya nyo ibigay yun sa client, kahit hindi nyo pa nagagawa. If you can learn quick, if you think you have the ability to be able to give this um, quality project, quality output, then go for it and then learn in the process. You have to venture out into different things. The next client is where I had my first ever job from being a full-time employee down to being a freelancer. So whatever I do as a freelancer, the best practices I do, I've learned it here in the corporate world. External side are posted on their careers pages. They've also given me the chance to redesign their website, uh, part of their website there are projects na hindi talaga ako comfortable. I also told them that I'm not into web development, but I'm into designing. It was an iffy part for me. I think I was able to pull it off and they liked the output. So, ang mahirap kasi dyan is to really make it compatible with all mobile platforms like tablets, smartphones, and laptops, desktops. And then the next one is a skincare brand. For the first time, I've had the chance to take on beauty products. It's Anna by Ingrid Skin. For this client, I'm really more on the brand and graphic designer. Because I created their logo 
ay creator packaging design. Medyo nakakapanibago kasi somehow, I should also know something about the product. Paano mag-isip yung target audience? Especially, I don't really use makeup or uh, not really into the details of skincare. So, I had to research also kung ano ba dapat yung colors, yung design. And then, at the same time, you have your write-ups for the packaging design. And syempre, dapat talaga naiinindihan mo. Hindi ka lang design ng design. Next one is a Know Thyself Studio. I vlogged about this before kasama si Sir Mac. He talked about his um, online museum. So, ang ginawa ko dito, um, web developer. Sabi ko sa kanya, hindi ko sure kung kaya ko, pero kaya rin naman. <laughs> I think I'm really proud of this work also. Kasi every time I develop a website, and it's it's like beautiful and aesthetics, tapos okay siya sa platform, I get to be proud because I know that it's not my forte. It's not just this website, pero yung mga collaterals to invite others for the website, for this opening of the online museum. Last one here, this was actually super tagal na, way back when I was in college. I think I needed some freelance projects. It, ito yung original picture and then sa slide there yung edited version na. So wala yata tong audio kasi loop video to for their website and for I think they will be a they were flashing this on the screen during the event. Yun lang yung nantito for now kasi a lot of my works I have I think I had three clients, three or four clients na puro internal ang kanilang collaterals at ang mga kanilang pinagawa. Stuff I do as a multimedia designer, it's it might be all over the place. I take on different roles. I love working on different projects with different clients. For aspiring designers, yung portfolio talaga importante. So work on it. It's gonna be like very. That's gonna be like your life. That's gonna be your ID, your pass, aside from your resume. Pero a lot of people really look into the portfolio because it's about output. If you have questions about design, just comment them down below. Sana nagustuhan yung tong video na to. And if you want to see more about design, don't forget to click the red button down below and hit subscribe. This has been Ika. See you guys in my next vlog.